Listening to Higher Self Wellness with Alec Hurley. Welcome back. And if you're new to the show, a big warm welcome. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for tuning in. And if you'd like to show some support for this show, you can leave a review. You can do that in the Apple Podcast app, wherever you're listening to this. And you can also share it with a friend, share with a loved one, share with somebody who may find this valuable. And yeah, other ways you can support the show by going over to the website. You can sign up for the newsletter. You can opt out at any time. It's a place where I share recipes, guided meditations, insights, thoughts, things that I find valuable and helpful that I apply to my own life. You can also download a couple free ebooks there. You can sign up for the seven day Start Your Day Right challenge to integrate your mind and your body first thing in the morning and really set the tone for your day. You can do all that over the website, www.hireself.yoga. And drum roll. Today, today I'm sharing with you a meditation process that I guided on New Year's Day. And this was a fun process. I recorded this live with a small group and also shared it with another group and so I figured I'd share it here as well so this isn't going to be your your regular podcast this will be a practice that I don't recommend doing unless you are someplace comfortable unless you are not operating any machinery and that you can really ground down and really settle into and find some quiet time So this process is just under an hour, so really give yourself some time and space to to go through this process. We go through a meditative body awareness practice where we then invite in some questions and do a little bit of self-inquiry about what's coming through us in the new year. And then we do a little reflection at the end of really answering some questions that we invited in and writing that down. So grab a pen and paper, Maybe your crayons or colored pencils, if you like to draw out your answers. And again, give yourself some space. Give yourself about an hour and a half in total. And just know that you can pause this and continue this at any time. But I just thought I'd share it here because it's a really fun practice, especially in the beginning of this year when we have you know, this, this nice liminal phase of new opportunities and a whole new year to begin to well, set some new intentions and start taking action. And yeah, so get yourself comfortable. I know I've said that a few times, but I can't say it enough. I really like to make sure that meditation practice is that of comfort. So we continue to come back to it and it becomes more nurturing, more nurturing for the body. And when we nurture the body, we can nurture the mind and so on. So let's do this. Give yourself some time and space, and here we go. All right. Welcome to the New Year Intention Setting Meditation. This is going to be a meditative process that really brings us down into our body and connects to our heart so that we open ourselves up to allow what wants to come through this year. So we really connect with ourselves in a way to where we can open ourselves up to really align with what comes, what wants to come through. So as hopefully you're in a quiet place, and hopefully you won't be disturbed for the next little while. And at first, I really just want to open up this space together. So if you're here listening live, or if you are listening later, 
to still have the same effect, that effect of connection, and to connect with each other and everybody who is here now and who will be participating later. So as you find yourself comfortable, you can feel free to adjust and change yourself, your position, uh, even throughout this process. <sighs> but at first I just want to call out to our minds and really invite our minds here into this moment bringing our minds from wherever they were beforehand and away from anything you may need to do later down into the body. So calling to the minds, bringing them into the body and down into the heart. And we gather in the heart to really connect and to expand and to open ourselves up to connect with ourselves as well as with each other and to all of the elements, all the elements that we're made of, the elements that we're resting upon currently. And so from our hearts, let's bring our attention down into our belly and from the belly into your seat and from your seat down through the floor, through the building and the foundation that you're resting upon down to the layers of the earth, through all the nooks and crannies, all the way down into the center of the earth. Connecting with the sense of density, support, gravity, and connecting to the supportive structure of Mother Earth, our home, honoring our home, and all that it supplies for us throughout our entire life. Honoring this sense of fertile nature that we rest upon, this place where we can plant seeds to grow food that we need, as well as the place where we plant seeds of intention for things that we like to create in our lives. So we give thanks for the earth as we gently draw our awareness up and out of the center of the earth through all the layers, all the way up until you reach your seat once again. And from your seat back into the heart and just connecting with that gentle life, the aliveness that's pulsating in the space of your heart. And from your heart back into your head, honoring the mind, honoring your intelligence, all that it does for you. And as we gently shift our awareness up and out, allow that awareness to go up through the space of the room that you're in, out of the building you're in, up into the atmosphere and just outside of the atmosphere of the earth. Connecting with your sense of imagination. Imagine that you could turn around, see the earth and all the colors, all the life. And from here, pointing your awareness out and away from the earth and allow your imagination to take you to the farthest reaches of the cosmos that you can create. Honoring the ether, the lightness, as well as the openness to receive ideas, intention, and creation. And from here, gently bringing your awareness slowly back out from the cosmos, all the way back down. Maybe you can imagine seeing Earth as you approach, going through all the layers of the atmosphere, coming all the way back down to where you're seated or resting right now, into the head, 
and back into your heart. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Just begin to rub them together softly to find some heat and warmth. When you find that warmth, release the hands and allow them to rest onto your heart and begin to breathe in deeply into that space. Inviting a sense of safety, sense of comfort, as well as a sense of nurturance, nurturance for your body, nurturance for your mind, and nurturance for all the beautiful things that you wish to create in the coming year. Inviting in a sense of appreciation for all the past experiences that you've gone through in the past year. <clears throat> all the opportunities for growth. All of the deep lessons from the challenges that you faced. Allow this appreciation to create a sense, a heartfelt sense of gratitude. Gratitude for it all the easy times and the hard times, the breakdowns that led to the breakthroughs, and the willingness that you had to participate through it all. So gratitude to all the invisible helpers around us, Gratitude to all the helping spirits around us. We give gratitude to our family and our ancestors, those who have come before us in all shapes, all sizes, all forms. And gratitude to those who will come after us. Now for a moment, really allow yourself to rest back into the support that you're in. If you're against a wall, just really feeling the support to the floor as well as the wall. If you're in a chair, really sit back into the comfort and support to the chair. And for a moment, let's just acknowledge and honor the support that this beautiful planet has for us and that life here is inherently supportive. That we can rest on the exhale and really feel into that support. We can honor that support and appreciate the support. Within the support, we can feel and notice that Life is a beautiful flowing collaboration and how it's how we perceive life that will turn it either into a competitive competition, into a fight, into a struggle, but that we can always come back here and rest back and rest in and rest down to feel that deep nurturance and that deep support that we always have. So if the hands are still at the heart, allow them to release down. And from here, gently close the eyes if they have become open. We're gonna move through a little body awareness. So as I name a part of your body, allow your attention to move here without trying, without effort, 
and just notice sensation. Notice the aliveness in that part of the body. Again, with no effort, with no trying. This is all just conscious awareness moving through the body that will help deepen the connection with the subtle part of us that contains this deep innate wisdom. So bring your attention to your head. and into your mouth. All sides, top and bottom within the mouth. Feeling the tongue, the throat. Your ears, both of them simultaneously your scalp forehead eyes nose and the space between your ears Feel the head as a whole, all parts simultaneously. Moving your attention down the neck, into the shoulders. And from the shoulders down the arms, both arms at the same time, through the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the palms of your hands, the fingers, and the back of your hands. Back up the arms, into the shoulders, and down into the chest, the front of the chest, the upper back, and the sides of the chest. your abdomen, the middle back, the sides of your torso, down into the low back, your pelvis, hips, down into the legs. Feel your knees, shins and calves, your ankles and your heels. the tops of your feet, the soles of your feet, and your toes. And now feel the whole body simultaneously, all parts, front and back, all sides, the whole body.
Coming back to your softly beating heart. Feel the subtle pulsation. And for a moment, explore just how far throughout your body you can feel that subtle pulse. And now imagining that you can split your body in two right down the middle, that there is an imaginary line dividing the left side from the right side. Bringing your attention to the right side, begin to breathe in deeply, focusing your attention on the right side, feeling your body and gently holding the breath at the top. As you hold the breath, retain the breath, keeping your attention on the right, exhaling the breath slowly through the mouth, keep your attention on the right. At the bottom of that exhale, shift your attention to the left and begin to breathe in deeply, holding your breath when you reach the top, focusing your attention on the left. And with a slow exhale out the mouth, remain your attention on the left. And at the bottom of the exhale, shift your attention back to the right. And with a deep breath in, flood that side of the body, holding the breath at the top. A slow release of the breath, Attention on the right. And at the bottom of the exhale, awareness goes to the left, beginning to breathe in deeply once again. Flooding this side of the body with fresh breath. Hold the breath when you reach the top. With a slow exhalation, Awareness on the left. And when you reach the bottom, feel the whole body simultaneously, right side and the left side. And abide a deep inhale, full body. I'm holding when you reach the top, both sides, right and left. Releasing the breath through the mouth. Soften into the face, the shoulders, and the belly, the arms and the legs. And allow your mind for a moment to drift and explore. Bringing your attention back into your heart and inviting in just a few questions. The first question, what kind of conversations do I want to be having? Without looking for an answer, just inviting it into your field and allowing it to rest into your awareness.
Now we're going to connect to a sense of who we are becoming next. So this next question, who am I becoming next? You may also ask yourself, I am the type of person who does what? I am the type of person who has conversations about what? Inviting in a sense of knowing that there's nothing inherently wrong with you. There is nothing inherently wrong with you. There's only opportunities for refinement. There are areas to upgrade and to enhance. And when we invite in those sorts of questions, it opens us up in a way that we can allow the answers to come through. when we rest deeper into the support of our helping spirits and of our ancestors and of the planet and the cosmos, we can trust. We can trust what needs to come through and honor that as it begins to take shape within our mind and within our hearts. With your attention coming back into the heart, asking yourself once again, I am the type of person who does what? The types of conversations that I wish to be having involve what topics? What is it that your heart really wants to talk about?
beginning to feel the ground below you, the support in which you're resting upon. And connecting with the space around you that might be resting upon you. And then coming back to sensation within the body. Allow your mind to explore and discover sensation as it arises. So it's not that you're creating anything within the sensory field, but rather discovering what's already the case what is already going on within. And then open yourself up to begin receiving a deeper, more nourishing inhale. And allow the exhale to return and carry anything you're willing and ready to let go of. So the inhale carries qualities of nourishment and support and the exhale carries qualities of surrender as well as gifts to the space around you. Just back and forth. <sighs> and inviting subtle movements into the fingers, the toes. And before opening your eyes, gently bring the hands together once again and begin to rub them. This time when you find that warmth between the hands, rest the palms over the eyes. When your eyes begin to receive that warmth, Begin to breathe in deeply into the belly. And with the palms remaining over the eyes, begin to open the eyes. And then slowly moving the palms away, allowing the eyes to take in all the sights and lights, the shapes and the shades. As you gaze around, <sighs> so from here, I invite you to reach for a pen and a piece of paper. Taking a moment to gather that, if you don't already have it next to you. And we're going to revisit some of those questions that we invited during that meditative state. If you already know the answers to those questions, you begin writing them down. The questions were, 
What kind of conversations do I want to be having? What does my heart really want to talk about? The other question was about this part of our evolving identity. is who am I becoming next? I am the type of person who does what? So when we ask these questions, this really opens up the gates for what is trying to come through us. And when we open ourselves up to really allow what wants to come through, what wants to come through our heart, we can enhance our life. And when we enhance our life, we enhance those lives around us, those people in our family, in our community, So we can really trust and rest into what it is that wants to come through us. A lot of the times these are coming through to enhance and refine those areas of our lives that could really use a little bit of work, that could use a little bit of upgrading. And when we take the time to listen and to ask these questions, we open that space up and we can identify, oh, yeah, that's related to this. And when we identify what it is that wants to come through, we can then begin to apply it into our life. We can take action. And just know that life is this process of learning, of learning how to apply these insights. And it doesn't have to look or be any specific way. We can really shape these actions and shape what wants to come through us in a way that is sustainable and in a way that's nourishing for us. And when we take charge to do that, to do that in a way that supports us, we can become more supportive for others and more nourishing for others because we're taking care of ourselves. So it's this idea of doing it your way, not doing it in a way based on what someone else told you, but really doing it in a way that honors you your unique needs, your unique life, and your unique gifts. So reflecting back on what has come through, what you've written down, it could be about anything really. I mean, I personally don't know what came through for you, but let's say if it's around exercising or really taking charge of your own physical health, It's good to get clear on how you will begin to implement and integrate what it is coming through you. So getting really clear on how much time you can commit 
each day to this new part of you that is evolving into you, that is evolving and integrating into your daily life. But how much time can you commit? How much energy can you commit to fostering what it is coming through you and nurturing that new part of you that wants to be integrated into your daily life? And without overdoing it, without being like, I'm changing my entire routine, all of it just based on this, we want to think sustainability. We want to think in a way that's going to support us and feel good without overtaxing our mental energy, without overtaxing willpower, and without really throwing a chain into the engine within our already existent daily routine. So we want to think small action step. Think small as possible action step that will continue to nurture these new ideas and new concepts and conversations that your heart is desiring to express. So that might look like making it a point to start a conversation about this certain subject with two people this week or maybe just one person this week. Maybe that small step for you looks like starting that conversation with three people this week. But just knowing that it should be small, it should be accessible, and it should be very doable. Maybe you found out that you're becoming the type of person who has a daily meditation practice. So how much time can you commit each day to this practice? Where are you going to be practicing? What is that going to look like? Getting really clear on how it's going to feel. How are those new conversations with those people going to feel? How are you going to feel after your new meditation practice? <clears throat> Maybe what's wanting to come through is around your physical health and how you're nourishing yourself. Maybe you're the type of person who eats a whole lot of vegetables for breakfast. Maybe those vegetables are blended into a smoothie. What is it gonna look like? What will it taste like? How will it make you feel? So inviting in a sense of curiosity about how these new Ideas, these new intentions, these new concepts that are coming through you, how are they going to feel? What is it going to look like? Getting really curious about this. How can these be shaped in a way that supports you rather than hinders you? How can these new areas that you're refining be rejuvenating rather than taxing on your energy? And as you're continuing to explore these ideas, just again, settling back into the support below you and the support behind you. And know that even if you can't connect with how it truly looks right now, 
some part of you knows. There's a part of you that understands. Even if you can't put it into words, It might look like drawing a picture. And so we're going to set that aside. <clears throat> Unless you'd like to keep going, by all means, don't let me stop you. <sighs> so coming back to the support below you, unless you'd like to continue on exploring those ideas coming through. If so, honor that. But we're gonna begin to start coming back into a sense of appreciation for the support that we have. Allowing that appreciation to build into a heartfelt sense of gratitude Gratitude for all the support that we have in all the different areas, the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown. <clears throat> Gratitude to all of the helping spirits around us. Gratitude to our ancestors who have paved the roads for us. And gratitude to those who will come after us. Trust in ourselves that we're in the right place at the right time. Trust that we're exactly where we need to be. And we give gratitude to the earth for the support and the fertile ground that it is. Gratitude for this opportunity to connect with that subtle part of us that wants to come through us, but that just that needs us to get a little bit more out of the way so it can happen. And we do that by resting back into the support and trusting that we're doing the right thing. So we give gratitude to the earth, all of the elements here. We give gratitude to the mind and to the wonderful tool that it is. We give gratitude to the air and the ether, to the space. To the imagination for allowing us to create and explore. And gratitude to our bodies for if it wasn't for our bodies, we would have nothing 
to roam around this beautiful earth on. Grateful for our bodies and our own unique abilities. Grateful for all the experiences that we've been through as we open ourselves up to receive all the experiences in the future. As we bring our hands together, find that friction once again between the hands, begin to rub them together. And as you find that warmth, allow the hands to move anywhere on your body that they're drawn to and begin to breathe deeply into that space. Receiving that warm healing energy from the hands and reconnecting with a sense of trust. Trusting in ourselves, trusting in those around us, and allowing that trust to connect with a sense of safety and from safety back into support. <clears throat> and I'm going to invite in, it's somewhat of an attunement that I come back to regularly. So feel free to repeat this after me. But this has come through from, from a great teacher by the name of Paul Selig. And this has come through from his guides as a way to attune us to our higher power and to the divinity that's within us. And so feel free to repeat after me or allow my words to become your words. I know who I am. I know what I am. I know how I serve. I am here, I am here, I am here. I know who I am, I know what I am, I know how I serve. I am here, I am here, I am here. I know who I am, I know what I am, I know how I serve. I am here, I am here, I am here. So I appreciate each and every one of you being here today. And I appreciate those who are going to be listening to this later. I appreciate you for showing up to do the work for yourself. To enhance and refine those parts of yourself. So you can show up in your life. For those around you. And for that, I'm grateful. I appreciate you and everything you do on this beautiful planet. And I wish you so much love for this next year. Many opportunities for you to grow. Many opportunities for you to break through. And may we all integrate our lessons with ease and grace and may we continue on this path with that same ease and grace. No matter how challenging our lives look, know that we can always trust that we have the support below us. And for that, I'm grateful. So thank you for being here. I hope you have a beautiful remainder of your day. And until next time, much love to you.